Ramble. Thank you to ShipStation and Next Evil Naturals for sponsoring this episode. Many more is a songstress, right? She sings for real. Mm-hmm. A songstress? <laughs> yeah. Garrick, well, what? What's, what's wrong with songstress? No, no, that's nothing's wrong with it. Just the fact that like you weren't sure that Mandy Moore was a songstress. Yeah, I was not of sure. Of course she's a song. Crush, candy, cry. What? Cry. <laughs> Those, Guys. those are all syllables, <laughs> uh, single There's syllable a song words. song that's inside of my soul. Welcome to Guilty Pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you heard just moments ago, Rick was confirming with Becky, our lovely guest this week. Hello, Becky. How was Parker? Hello, so Becky. happy to have you. Hi. That you were double checking that Mandy Moore is a songstress. I didn't. I, I knew that she could sing. That um, she can sit like it's a hobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, knew she I, could sing. I knew, but I know, I know her um, from like This Is Us first, and this that's movie. the what? first time you were exposed to, to Mandy, Mandy Moore? Moore. Yeah, yeah, I was not checking wow. in on her career at all. I'm just like really wow. seeing a divide right now, like an invisible <laughs> wall with like Becky and I in our sweaters, yeah. and I feel it feels wrong. It feels wrong. It, it feels, feels bad. Wrong. Oh, I don't no. like it. Like oh, this boy. is what happened when you grew up with Mandy Moore in your life. Yeah. You get a cozy little sweater and you uh-huh. put your fingers in the holes of the thumbs yeah. and you're just like, mm. relax. And you're just like, oh, I'm a little girl dying of yeah. leukemia. <laughs> oh. Spoiler alert. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Before we get into it, let me give us the log line. This was my choice, of course. We're doing, We're doing. Uh, a walk to remember. <laughs> yeah, Because we about, didn't Rick. even say the movie yet. Love. We're doing a walk to remember. Please go on with Starring the Mandy Moore, Starring our Mandy Moore, our Mandy Moore, and Shane West. <laughs> That's correct. Oh, yeah. Tell He's us got the a story freaky mustache now. Of <laughs> our boy Shane West, Landon, and what's her character's name? Jamie. Jamie, Jamie but Mandy Moore. Sullivan. James Who <laughs> is the James. Reverend's daughter, and uh-oh, she starts hanging out with neighborhood bad boy Shane West, uh-oh. who, you know, does stuff like be fucking mean. He's a bully. He's an asshole. He's an Paralyzed asshole. people. Yeah, <laughs> he paralyzes people and he jumps off of uh, whatever those rafters uh-huh. are. Yeah, it's a, that's exactly what it is. But he's changed his ways when he meets good church girl, Jamie, and they start to fall in love. But uh-oh! What else can we add to the fire of the drama? Our girls got leukemia. Yeah. All right, cool, Jamie. What are they going to do? Well, yep, spoiler alert. She <laughs> dies. She fucking dies. Is this the greatest dies. love story of all time? This is a walk to remember. Yes. Wow. <sighs> that was a mouthful. That was a mouthful. It was worth it because when I tell you this movie meant so much. I've seen this movie easily. Yeah. 74 times. Okay. Yeah. Just going to get this out the way. First time seeing this movie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Yeah. It's the first. You? It's my. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I, I can sense the sarcasm. Uh-huh. Uh, truly the first time I've seen this movie. Um, I remember uh, I would spend some summers uh, at my cousin's place who has two older sisters and they watched it once. Oh. Okay. Um, and I just remember coming in and seeing like the major plot points like, I remember seeing her. I was like, oh, this girl is cute. And then uh, leaving the room and then coming back. And I was like, oh, what happens to the girl? And they were like, she's dead. <laughs> cool. Cool, 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 cool. What so. was uh, your connection to this movie, Becky? Because I did text you this morning yes. in a fr- mm. frenzy to fill in for Daddy Zachary is still in the hospital, question mark. Oh, I don't boy. know. Yeah. Oh, um, and um, I said, I feel like you're a walk to remember girly. I am. And actually, there was a period of time in college where my girlfriend and I would every Wednesday get a six pack of Bud Light Platinum, oh. order a large pizza and oh, watch a walk to remember. Every you guys are. Wednesday? Okay, 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 okay. So this is uh, this is where I, I, I'm starting to to form a, an official opinion on women's social life. <laughs> <laughs> you treat a walk to remember like the fucking Super Bowl, yes, <laughs> like 100%. game day, like Monday night football. That's yeah. so fucking funny. Yeah. It's just like a six pack. <laughs> Let's get some beers going. Let's get ready to cry, baby. Oh, yeah. So I saw this movie in theaters. Yeah. I oh, was wow. in sixth grade. Yeah, I will never yeah. forget. I went with my best friend, Gabby, yep. um, and we walked out of the theater and she said, I will not be your friend any longer if you liked that movie. Wow. Mm. We were in sixth grade and I was 
sobbing. Uh, no. My eyeliner was everywhere, and I couldn't understand how she wasn't touched by that movie, and I'll tell you exactly why it was. Yeah. Because I had a teenager boyfriend. Mm. His name was Ryan, and he was a bad boy. Mm. Uh-oh. She, Gabby was single. No, no offense, Gabby, but you weren't really hitting it back then like that in sixth grade. I was. And uh. after I got out of the movie, I was like, oh, I am in love with Ryan. That's definitely what it is. Mm -hmm. mm. Guys, I think I'd been dating him for like two weeks. Okay. But this movie made me believe and understand the sacrifice and the feelings that come along. <laughs> I'm sorry, the sacrifice? <laughs> this what, did man, he, what did he sacrifice her? Like He <laughs> sacrificed his friendships. His, his, his lasting thing. friendships. So his <laughs> lasting friendships. Yeah, like this. these things are such big deals. I Okay, so... I, I, I'm not like shitting on the movie at all. I like this oh, movie. Okay. You did? I, liked, I, I did like this movie. A win. <laughs> um, I, I usually just go for rom coms because I do like romance, but mm -hmm. I also like comedy. You do so like, like romance? I like romance. You're a little romance. I'm a little boy. romantic. But so without the comedy and you just have romance, I'm just like, oh, okay, well, what's in it for me? You know? <laughs> so okay. watching this, this was one of the first movies of its kind, I feel like. I I don't I don't want to say that first movie is a kind but like <laughs> it was groundbreaking it was it was I don't I don't know what came before it but it was one of those movies that called out the trope of um you're about to peak in high school so what's the point <laughs> oh yeah mm -hmm. like she said it to him straight up just yeah. like you're about to peak in high school so yeah. Yeah. what are you what are you gonna do uh, knowing that she's about to die in high school which is kind of sad but <laughs> yeah she called it yeah. out she called it out and I don't think that any other like production did that at that point and then having her uh in his life like shifted his his trajectory yes yeah trajectory. he got good at science and math yeah he got just good because at science he and applied math. himself just because he applied himself he now he's in medical he school he was a, a tutor he did tutoring on the weekend i mean was it part of his um um arrest what's it called community, <laughs> community service? service yes yeah but yeah. he was a smart boy just not applying himself yeah yeah but which is why i don't think that tests should exist at all ever. because there are a lot of smart kids that yeah. just are just bad test takers and they, they don't want to apply themselves at all and they're just like i, I don't give a fuck and then yeah. they just fail no and it's not fair either go yeah. to school school Learn stuff, some stuff. stay in school yeah. yeah letter grades don't matter yeah that's fine um i do think this movie has a few guilts while i do think it is like an yeah. insanely uh pleasurable movie yeah I, and I don't know how to describe this feeling. And it's exactly what my best friend Gabby was trying to get at as to why this movie was so bad for her. Is that it feels like, like, um, uh, what was that one store, Talbot's? Remember Talbot's? <laughs> yeah. It feels like Talbot's as a movie. Like I was going to say Claire's as a movie. <laughs> Claire's the like movie. Claire's okay. the movie, yeah. Like incredibly... Feminine, yeah. vanilla, oh, what, yeah. what was white? White very is very, white. very white. <laughs> it was, it was contrasted. It was bright white. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how to describe the feeling of what this movie. It's, well, it's like, like a pre surface lifetime. movie. It's yeah. a surface mm. movie. There is no depth it to is. the movie, even though it like tackles a very sad subject of her yeah. having yeah death and Jesus. Um, yeah, like there's a lot of Jesus in there. Been Jesus called. is a big plot line. Yeah, yeah. but like. Garrick and I were joking about the bullies. They they are surface level bullies. They yeah. are mean to her because mm. she wears the same sweater. Like mm. they aren't. We don't get a background on them. No. We don't learn empathy for them. No. The dad is crazy religious, and that's all he is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. His mom is I don't know lightly unsupportive. Kind of calls him stupid at one point, yeah. but yeah. also loves him. Mm -hmm. His it, dad's a jerk. Like they're all just like his little. Dad, plot his dad's points. a jerk, but also a uh, a saint. A, a saint and rich. Uh, uh, he's rich because he's a he is a doctor he's as a well. Cardiologist. Uh -huh. He's a cardiologist. Yeah. He's a heart doctor. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> like that was that was what what a fucking curveball. Imagine being a doctor and being like, I don't really fuck with my kid like that, so I'm gonna bounce. And, I don't wanna uh, I don't want a family. He's like Shane West is a Nepo baby. Like yeah. he came mm -hmm. from money and he acts like he's some like poor, yeah, like stupid wrong side of the tracks kid who just right. gets in trouble and has no future. It's like bitch. 
you have all the resources in the world yeah. to, to do be something to be yeah. something great. Yeah. And we start out the movie with one of my favorite scenes <laughs> in the entire film, oh my God. which is like this teenage montage, the electric guitar, <laughs> fucking 90s baby. The kids, the teens are out yeah. at night on a school night and they're going down by the lake. By the construction site. <laughs> I don't really dare. know where it was. <laughs> yeah, it was like a power yeah, plant. Yeah, it was a power plant, an oil plant. Yeah, it was one of it was. They were doing construction. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and you, they, they had, were trespassing. They were trespassing. It was naughty. Um, it was like old Johnson's old farm or something <laughs> yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was it was wild. Uh, and they're there continue. to dare a guy yeah. who they're trying to initiate into their friendship mm-hmm. circle. The way they initiate <laughs> people is they tell them that they have to jump off this two. To do two to five story oh. <laughs> rafter into a questionable depth of lake water. And uh, Shane West goes up with the guy to pretend like he's going to do it too. So it's not that dangerous. Yeah. And then psychs our boy out, and the guy falls to his death. Paralyze himself. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah. a pipe. Ah! Right? Because Clay, it's Clay Gephardt, is the oh. one that's being peer pressured. How do you know this? I like names. Okay. Oh, okay. You know. cool. I like names. And I just watched it like three hours ago. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. <laughs> it's fresh in the brain. Copy that. But Clay Gephardt hits a pipe because Landon, which is Shane West's character, says that he jumped off the same thing before when they right. go and like bond when he apologizes. Another mm-hmm. very surface level, mm-hmm. yeah. barely an apology yeah. while this kid's in rehab. Yeah. Um, yeah. He hits a pipe. And then. Hits a pipe. It's almost paralyzes himself, yeah. the, and they scatter. Almost paralyzes. Oh, yeah. he, he did paralyze him. I think he did, He right? did, right? I don't know. You kind of see him moving when he's getting out of the water, and then all you see is a broken arm when he's in the rehab. But oh, he's okay. got his neck, you're like, in a rehab. situated, like yeah. he can't walk. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a question. I don't mark. know. To, to our resident spine, uh, metal spine boy, Oh, did that look like a like a oh, yeah. neck-breaking moment? No, it did think? not. Okay. No, no, no. It did not at all. It looks like he was fine. Exactly. He didn't have have any like form of of scarring. scarring on his neck no anything supporting his neck so i don't think that he was paralyzed it might have been like a waist down thing so i'm not sure they yeah. they did leave this man pretty much unconscious um yeah. to you know what could have just been a simple trespassing ticket yes to yeah a fucking police chase that was that was crazy and that was what made me like we didn't need any of this even <laughs> even before like starting the whole movie i was like i know that i don't need this context no. at all yeah i just i uh, this is a bad kid yeah and if this is just to serve to show that this is a bad kid then what do you what, why am i we here already for got minutes? that oh, yeah. with yeah. like the the rough and tough guys that they hang out with yeah. they objectify <laughs> women they like booty they smoke cigarettes like yeah. We got we got that enough. It seems like they put a lot of their budget on this stunt. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Well, they needed to find a reason to punish him, right? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. what do you do when you almost kill someone? You're caught drinking. You run away from the cops. Your principal's like, you have to Homicide. be the lead in the school play. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Your punishment is to tutor, sweep yeah. floors, and act. And act. <laughs> you are 18. You yeah. should be in jail. You should, be in jail. <laughs> you should have been in jail. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It was it was very weird that they didn't just stay there. You get like <laughs> uh-huh. you, terrible decision making. There's a police officer. Yeah. Your boy is paralyzed. Stay there and be like, hey, uh, my guy fell off the thing. I yes. know we're not supposed to be here, but oopsie. Like we have what, a medical emergency. Yeah, yeah. To yeah put your a, resources into we instead have a serious of serious problem. Chasing yeah. me, in my car. You would have gotten off with a warning. Yeah. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. What kind of car was he driving? Um, he was in a. Uh, if I'm, I'm remembering those correctly. It's like a, it's a mus- Chevrolet. A Chevy, yeah. Uh, Chevelle. It might Ooh, be. Ooh, it was a nice the one. Red yeah. muscle Candy car. Red. Yeah, yeah, it might so be like bad. a seventy-one, yeah. seventy-two. So as you said, he gets his punishment is to go. He has to go be in the play and tutor where our sweet, sweet girl, Jamie, Jamie, AKA is also Mandy Adam. Moore, who is a fucking virgin. Yeah, let's just put it that way. <laughs> no, no, Virginity she looks is like a construct, a, but looks, man, yeah, yeah. The it's way, almost as if they put more makeup on her to make her look like she wasn't wearing makeup. They also it, like it made, made her look sick. Yeah, quite often. it made well, her look. She was. She was. Yeah, she was sick. She looks pale. Mm-hmm. She looked like the blood was drawn from her face, <laughs> but it also made her look angelic in this yes. weird way. Yeah. Like she was already gone from this world. <laughs> <laughs> that makes 
So that's where I'm like, okay, 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 okay. There's something wrong with her. And then she had the wispy voice as well. So. Uh-huh. She's actually a ghost. Yeah, she was a ghost. Yeah, so I think the that, whole time. Yeah, I thought, I th- I'm I'm going to uh, theorize that she has been dead the entire <laughs> oh time. My God. And he yeah, was yeah. dating his angel. <laughs> <laughs> Love. But yeah. it turns out he was the angel the whole time. Yeah. Um, I have to say, though, like, love this movie so, so much. As an adult who has regular intercourse, Mm. I need to make an opinion about Jamie that this girl knew what the motherfuck she was doing. Oh, yeah. Well, she says, don't fall in love with me. She literally, the first time she sees him in (laughs) church, she is, like, giving him the fuck me eyes. She's looking directly (laughs) down his soul. (laughs) He's sitting in church, like, are you? Is this bitch looking at me? And she's like, I'm gonna fucking make you fall in love with me. Yep. I'm gonna make me make you marry me in my mom's church. Mm-hmm. You're gonna be my my side piece. Like you will. And she <laughs> is, she goes up to him on the bus. She's mm-hmm. talking to him then. Yeah. She's, she's um <laughs> she's spitting mad game. Wellness is way more than just nutrition and exercise. It's physical, mental, emotional. So sleep, stress management, and mindfulness are all important aspects of wellness. CBD can be a great way to deal with sleep, stress management, and more that benefits your overall health. If I take CBD edibles to fall asleep all of the time, uh, probably most times I need it to relax. I need it to actually get a solid set of hours for sleep. Nexevo Naturals are scientifically formulated to deliver more CBD in a way your body can actually use it and fast. It's proven 30 times better absorption in the first 30 minutes. Make CBD a part of reaching your full potential. Try Nexevo Naturals capsules gummies, mints, and tropical creams with smart sorb technology clinically proven to be better absorbed by your body. Get 20% off of your first $40 or more at nextevo.com slash podcast and use promo code guilty. That's 20% off at nextevo.com slash podcast promo code guilty. Have y'all ever left like a cart full of items in an online store because the shipping was too expensive? Nobody wants unhappy customers simply because shipping costs after the fact are just way too high. That's why you should keep yourself competitive with ShipStation. When you use ShipStation, you can lower shipping costs, make returns easy, save time from automating your shipping tasks, and keep your customers happy. ShipStation makes it super easy to grow your business by handling your orders from every marketplace in one dashboard. I have a bunch of friends who have small businesses and ShipStation is a super convenient way to ship out their items on time. With the best discounts in the industry, you'll never worry about overpaying for shipping. You get up to 84% off of USPS and UPS rates. And if that's not enough, use our promo code to try ShipStation for free for two months. Keep growing your business all year long with ShipStation. Use promo code GUILTY today on ShipStation.com to sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, promo code GUILTY. Like, okay, so the, I, I get into to this, uh, not argument, but talk with uh, Sequoia all the time where I don't think that women have game at all. <laughs> like at all. Have you met me? <gasps> Kelsey has game. I, I would give, I give I'm because you're you're a, a, a bisexual queen, Thank so you. You, you know how <laughs> to approach you. right. people in general. <laughs> but it, whenever, d- during the days when I was single, whenever I was approached, I was like, oh, you're bad at this. <laughs> you are bad at this, and let me save you from this Aww. interaction. Uh-huh. And by being like a sweet person or whatever, or just being nice We're about the, the, yeah. the awkward situation. But there there have been some doozies. And to, to her um, credit, she's killing it. She? <laughs> she's killing it. I, comebacks? Yeah. For days. Yeah. Oh my God. Someone tries to make fun of her and is like, well, if God is so great to you, why didn't he give you a better sweater? Why didn't he and give she you brains? Goes, like he's she's been, brain? He's been looking for your brains. Ugh. I threw so my good. sandwich on the floor. Yeah. And I said, God 
damn, this yeah. girl for a church girl. Yeah. Yeah. Knows how to talk. Yeah. Also, this is, I think this is a more accurate representation of what church girls are. <laughs> because, Speak on it, right? Yeah. Because they <laughs> are, they're not, it. <laughs> not people. Like they're not just walking around. They're I mean, she slots. was touting the Bible the entire time. Yeah. She carried a Bible everywhere. She yeah. carried the Bible all, everywhere, but they're not like otherworldly. Like they know what, what humanity is and you know what it's they're choosing to, to be a church girl a church it girl. is a mm -hmm. curated yeah. crafted yeah. look and uh beggy had made a whole you. song about it yeah like who so, did oh. Beyonce, <laughs> my favorite who? on the album yeah yeah <laughs> well in this movie i was like who <laughs> yeah, i'm sorry <laughs> I didn't know beyonce i'll say that again beyonce <laughs> made a whole song about it where it's my just favorite. like you're yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Becky, I have to tell you Ooh. that Garrick and I are reformed church children. Yes, we are. Like oh, okay. severe churchgoers. Yeah, yeah. And I was worried maybe Whoa. this movie was going to be a little bit yeah. too triggering for us. Yeah, I went to church every uh, Seventh-day Adventist. I, I was <gasps> raised that. I went to church every Whoa. Saturday uh, until I was 17 years old. Yeah. They yeah. live really long though, right? Aren't the yes. Seventh-day Adventists like They're in California, in California. one of the longest? I'm Loma sorry. Linda, it's a what? Blue... Matt told me once. <laughs> and I a, looked it up. Yeah, it's a blue zone in yeah. Loma Linda. It's one Loma of, Linda, yeah. yeah. One of the uh, <sighs> spots where the average age of the community is higher than... Uh, than the global Okay, average. I'm going to yeah. put that, though, on having community. It is. It's community diet. It's community and um, uh, diet. Yeah, they're vegetarians. Yeah. Damn. Fuck. Yeah, yeah no. I, I was a Southern Baptist. We ate. <gasps> yeah. We ate. Oh my God. Yeah. I mean, all Jamie was leaving behind was her father. Right. She had That's no mother, true. which yeah. did we know why? She died. Did I? But why? I'll probably can't. Probably, you probably think leukemia it was, is, though. But leukemia is not genetic, is it? I don't think so. Randy, can no, we get a gut check on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get a gut check. Let's get a gut check. Some sort of cancers are genetic. Yeah. So, Father Reverend does not like. Oh, yeah. What are our they boy? that they have? He's a reverend. No. What religion just does that make them? Um, I think. What, wait, what would you say? <laughs> yeah. He was married and he was a reverend. I was raised Roman Catholic. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's so just our Christian. priests only do bad things and don't get married. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, he no. was just a Christian. Yeah. For sure. Okay. He was like a Bible thumping, like, oh, yeah, oh, oh. yeah Bible yeah. belt type. Um, My people. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It is genetic. It is genetic. Oh! Okay. Oh. It's genetic. So wow. that's, the same what they, thing. that's what their researchers are starting to think. Oh. oh. Uh, this move is ahead of its time. 2002. Damn. I Damn. know. They had a researcher on the movie, probably just giving yeah. them tips, just like, "Hey, man, listen, leukemia is genetic. Let's just kill off the mom <gasps> with leukemia." As well. You know, it's based on a book, right? It is based. I on forgot. A book. Mm -hmm. It's a Nicholas Sparks book. He's like, it's a, a Nicholas, Nicholas Sparks. Sparks book. Yeah, <gasps> it. that was like one of Nicholas Sparks' first big movies. Wow. It's a walk to remember. What? Yeah. Okay, because I only knew that the director also did like Hairspray mm -hmm. and what's some of the other ones he did. He did some like kooky, wacky shit where I was like, this one was very grounded for him. <laughs> but that makes sense. Nicholas, this, Nicholas Sparks. God, this feels like a Nicholas so Sparks sense. book. Yeah, light religion, some sort of terminal illness. I yeah. got a love Gabby story. I apologize yeah. for her. This makes so much sense now. Yeah. Revan doesn't like Shane West. No, absolutely not. He does not. No. He does not want his pure no. white mm -hmm. virgin daughter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A ghost. Yeah. Going out with the bad boy. It was, a, a, that was a really good line where he was like, you don't think that I can see you from the pulpit, but I can. And I was like, ooh, that's kind of hard. He got him. He got him. He got him. Yeah. Yeah. He was really scary. The it dad. Was, yeah. But I'm also like, if your daughter's dying, she can't date. Like, like, you wait, know she's dying. Yeah. Why is that still a I rule? Would, I would be like, as a father, be like, yo, go on, go man. On. Just go, go just, try heroin. Okay, <laughs> go get. Okay, I might not go to you. heroin, but I would be like, here's some alcohol. Yeah, I know you're. <laughs> do you want to try man. pot? <laughs> yeah, you go get. Like, you're down gonna die. Yeah. yeah. Do, this be able is to so do stuff. Weird. But you know, all that Shane has to do, Shane West has to do to convince daddy is just say, have some faith. Yeah. Have some faith. And that just was like it. Just like you teach us every week. Because I am the war. Like, I didn't understand that. I didn't yeah. get why he was like, yeah, you know what? Well, like faith, forgiveness, you know, feeling Christian. That, that's I think the it was thing, more though, like Christians a, aren't very no, forgiving. No, they're not forgiving. Second chance heavy. Not at no, all. It was, not. it was, it felt more of like a just trust me type of thing and just kind of, and <laughs> that. Me. I'm a fucking, yeah, I'm a, I'm a fucking, you're not. 
<laughs> my God. <laughs> that was the reverend's plan all yeah. along. He was like, I'm going to make her think she can't yeah. date him so that she actually loses her virginity before she dies. Because yeah. I don't want her to die a virgin. Yeah. Honestly, if I was 18, a virgin, and obsessed with Jesus, virginity is a construct, but just for the sake of this argument, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I would want Shane West to fuck me yeah. for the first 100%. time. This is... Yeah. If I get one yeah. dick, 100%. Shane West. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Especially Shane West in the 90s. Ooh, baby. Yeah. I'm, I'm not good. mad about what he looks like now. Oh, How did yeah? you give that mustache a little hate? Yeah, up? there goes the Florida <laughs> just popping up again. <laughs> It's so fun. Okay, it, mustache you over there. Hey, hey, I'm You're saying, letting it grow out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm living my. I'm just getting in my writer's room look. <laughs> I think it's just like oh, oh depression. Yeah, Got exactly, it. Okay, exactly. Okay, exactly. Just gearing up for for sadness. <laughs> but I, okay, yeah. um, I feel like uh, this movie could have been <laughs> such a good rom com if it was just I'm dying. I need to fuck someone now. <laughs> Oh, right now. Yeah, like I got two years left to live <laughs> just from hilarious. a woman's perspective. <laughs> like, Garrick, let's write that movie. It's just a ride to remember per- rather than Perfect. a walk I'm to in. remember. I'm in. Um, the funniest part to me about this movie was that she had like a bucket list of sorts <gasps> that was just uh-huh. all the fuck over the place. <laughs> yeah. Made no sense. She wanted to witness a miracle. Right. Uh-huh. I would have been Shane West. I would have whipped out my dick and been like, here you go, baby. <gasps> yeah. It just write miracle on your dick. <laughs> love story people (laughs) this is a love story don't you taint it this way she wanted to see the big comet yeah Yeah, she She wanted to be in two places at once what yeah get a tattoo what did she mean by that she got a fake tattoo she got a fake tattoo while her own song was playing on the radio i think she played her own music music kept coming up on the radio was it mandy moore's Moore's okay mandy moore's music okay cool. like in the background of her making out in the car with a guy yeah Fun. Did they make no, 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 no. It's when I just she got the, that. the, the, the yeah. butterfly says. Yeah, know. I think she, uh, many more hooks up to her own music. I Ooh. fully believe it. There's no way that she doesn't. I mean, she proved it. She proved it to us in yeah. this movie. Yeah. Maybe that's not where it true. started. <laughs> but like, this also was the time, you might not know this, Rick, but like, Mandy Moore was projecting a safe image. Oh, she yeah. wasn't Britney Spears. She wasn't Christina Aguilera. Like, she kind of was the goody two shoe girly. Yeah. Yeah. And she was, she like basically shot into popularity, mm-hmm. did all these big songs, then hit like, I don't know, 21, 22, and married that Ryan, right. Ryan Adams. Brian Adams. I always forget oh. what his name is, but he was like emotionally abusive. <gasps> I don't know if he's physically abusive, but he like, Told her she couldn't write music anymore. Really? He was like super controlling. She wrote like a big article about it once. And like, that's why she like is so in love with her new husband because they like write music together and like they do all these like good stuff. Mm, we love a story mm-hmm. like that. And also, this is us. It's fucking so good. Does yeah. anyone still watch it? I think I it's don't, done. I don't keep it's it. The, the final season is is either airing or it are, it just aired. I got there like sure. three and I just couldn't stop crying every yeah, day. And it I was is, like, um, I can't do it anymore. Really too heavy. This was pre-pandemic when they could and get away with it, right? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, this is pre-pandemic for mm-hmm. sure. You know oh, yeah. when, um, whenever you listen to a producer that makes like pop music mm-hmm. and you're like, oh, this person can recreate a hit whenever they want to. Oh, mm-hmm. watching like like for watching listening Pharrell talk about mm. um, how to make you know songs a hit, and that's why he made Happy was yeah. like to prove a point. Uh-huh. Um, with This Is Us, I'm watching and I'm like, oh, they can make us cry whenever they, f- yeah. they fucking oh, want yeah. as a writer. I was like, that this pretty this is pretty insane. This is pretty devastating. You really set it up from the pilot alone. Yeah, holy yeah. shit. Um, they Unplug really set you up. Pots. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Unplug, Unplug your crockpots. Crock that's the don't, moral of don't have a crock pot. Don't have a crock pot. I have a crock pot. Don't borrow Ooh. a crock crock pot. Get rid of your crock pot. Yeah, you're a crock pot. Get rid of it. Do you think that crock pot's stock took a dive after oh, the, hundo that percento. episode aired? That's so funny. Hundo yeah. percento. We got to talk about our girl singing in this uh, yeah. yeah. movie. Do, that was for sure Manny Moore's voice. Yes. Right? Yes. yes. Only in the, him. Just in the studio. Yeah. But she just. And I think that's her song. Oh yeah. I think that's. I think she like. Maybe wrote that song. I could be spitting think, straight I mean, lies, but I've never the, heard anyone sing it but her. Yeah. For the school play, ways. she was the writer of the yeah. music, which I don't know about y'all. I didn't go to like an arts high school or anything, but no one was writing original music in high school. No. Um, that seems incredibly no. hard. For at, at our school, they were. <gasps> what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what? yeah. Was they it would an art have, 
Uh, it wasn't. It was a charter school, but they had. What does um, that mean? So th- those are the schools where they'll bus you um, into the school from other areas. Uh-huh. So like in order to go to high school, I had to win like a lottery essentially. Oh. And they Congratulations. Would just, it's you. like a private school that other people can go to. Yes, exactly. Oh, cool. That are outside of the, the neighborhood. Yeah. You don't have uh-huh. to have that area code. Hmm. But, um, or zip code, whatever. Um, I remember that in school, they would always have an original that kids would write and perform. What? Um, and then they would have like a Shakespearean or like a play that had already been done. Wow. And sometimes people would wow. write their own music. Wait, yeah. and did they put the music in the Shakespeare? Play? No, no, no. They oh. put it in the original <laughs> play. Like sometimes they, if it was a Copy musical, that. some kids would. Oh. They, yeah. you, wait, you would create your own fucking musicals? Mm-hmm. Holy crazy. shit. Yeah. yeah. No, there, there's, I mean, there's a lot of nepotism kids that went to the Pali. Oh. So that's oh. also like. Wait, you went to, you went to the Palisades? Yeah. <gasps> I got bust out to Malibu every morning. What? Yeah. Rick? Yeah. Is anyone famous from your school? Um, a lot of people are, are famous <gasps> from us. But um I mean more most recently Lauren London went to Oh shit. Um, probably. I I nobody that I know uh that went to school uh while I was there is I don't I don't believe is like famous How long now. What is that ride for you in a bus? Fifty minutes. Holy shit. Wow, that's yeah. a long bus ride. To but I guess if you're on the PCH, it's not so bad. No, it was bad. Oh, okay. You <laughs> yeah. get pretty sick of it, it pretty easily. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Back to the I could I'm bus. sorry. I yeah, back to, the so, <laughs> back to the film. This film. is why Zachary needs to be here. Yeah, yeah. We get, he we yells at us if we, we go too derails. far away. Yeah. Um, so she sings in this this mm-hmm. song. It's gorgeous. Do you know this song by heart? Probably. Same. Yeah. <laughs> it was... I've definitely sung it alone in my room before. And when it was playing, I like was doing my hair and I was absolutely like, oh, yeah. When she does a little key change. Oh my God. Like, and then I the little hands. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I thought I thought that was going to be the like the Princess Diaries moment where everybody was going to start being nice to her because she's oh, hot now. No. They no. were just like, no, fuck you. You're, you're, <laughs> we're doubling down on hating you. She looked hot as fuck in that yeah. play too. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah, tripped yeah, yeah. her hair. She had eye makeup on. Yeah. In the 90s, they, they, people were just so mean to brun- brunettes for mm-hmm. no reason at all. Really? And you're like, just because she's a brunette, now we have to be a piece of shit to her. <laughs> um, and then looking at the ex-girlfriend uh shane west character's yeah, ex-girlfriend uh-huh, blonde. who was Belinda. blonde blue-eyed <laughs> right and right i was like even mandy moore being the church girl that she is is blowing her out of the water yeah just oh, like, immediately yeah. i'm yeah. like oh she looks she looks this is she looks Poor great Belinda. Poor Belinda. Belinda never stood a champ yeah, yeah. Belinda or Melinda? Belinda. She was Belinda. Belinda with a B. Bully her. <laughs> her name is Belinda. Yeah. And you know what Belinda does? Yeah. Which this happened <laughs> yeah. in my fucking high school. Oh, boy. So much worse to a degree that I want to make a short film about. Oh, my God. But they took Sweet Manny Moore's face. Yeah. yeah. After she stuns at yeah. the musical yeah. with her voice. Shane West is so enamored by her. He kisses her off script. Oh, my God. And Manny Moore is like, Boundaries. Shane. That was my first. That must have been her first kiss, right? Of course. Yeah. And they, did, the bullies decide to Photoshop very poorly. Might I add? Yeah, I, mean, I know this was two thousand. They, like, they didn't have. They didn't have the technology. No, That's they didn't. That was Microsoft Word. They yeah. were like paint by yeah. yeah. Paint. That was clip art essentially. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They pasted her face onto a body of like a car model <laughs> with if, a thong and titties. What if Clippy, the little uh, bouncing <laughs> fucking thing, was just like, oh, it seems like you're trying to be a piece of shit. Would you like some help with that? <laughs> help with that <laughs> oh my god can I I'm recommend sorry. a therapist yeah <laughs> yeah um and they put virgin mary question mark oh as if god. it's not Daughter. so obviously photoshopped and they pass the flyers around school and that's what makes my baby shane say you know what no more yeah no more. With it. and then he punches oh boy in the face <laughs> Again, Pops another him. felony. You're yeah. 18, sir. You're 18. You're going to jail. You're going yeah. to jail. You're going to jail. Yeah. He hit him in the face, and then the other dude didn't do anything about it. And then he goes, you little We're chicken not. shit. You little chicken, <laughs> little chicken shit. Chicken shit. And he's We're like, not him. Yeah. It's like, oh, come on. Yeah. I think he was in love with him. I there think was, so, too. I was too. just going to say that. There were so many points in that where he's like holding him. I think so, too. Like, I, I think I mean, there was something always with Always touching him. his jean jacket. Yeah. Yeah. I am fresh off of The Last yeah. of Us episode three. <laughs> Every, every man is gay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> every, every, everybody's gay. It everybody's so gay. Easier. Everybody, yeah. every man who has a man friend is gay. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. Hey, oh. fellas, it's a gay to have friends. <laughs> but no, I think 
I, th- <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just, it's, they're all, they're, Tweet that, right? yeah, yeah I, with, a, with a gif from episode three. I, 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 I it's like all of my friends watch that episode and they're just like, oh man, damn, Frank, they're like homies. <laughs> and, and then the piano scene happened. They're like, oh, okay. So they're Keith texting like, too. no homo, but I love you, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. Keith's like, they're going to kick him out. I was like, Keith, they're going to kiss. Yeah. I called him too. When yeah. he made like, the wine comment. Two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two yeah. My roommate was like, laughed. And I was like, <laughs> I'm fucking serious. Yeah. She was like, no. No. no after, yeah. I mean, he, he he is in the game. He is. They are in a relationship. Oh. It's just that one of them dies. And they uh. actually, he actually leaves. Oh, this was part of the game? Yeah. Well, he gets yeah. a car. That's how he gets a car in the game. Okay. It Zachary the, would yell yes. at us to get back okay. to whatever the fuck we were talking about. So we have no confirmation, but we think the bully might yes. have been in love with Landon. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. But then only becomes friends with him again when he hears that his girlfriend has cancer. Which yeah. did Shane Landon told that everyone? Okay? That's not okay. No. I thought that was going to be. <laughs> it happens ah! so fast. Yeah. She doesn't even get sick. In the next scene, yeah. Eric's on right. and he's like, your mom I, told me what yeah. happened. I'm like, oh. maybe it was she, his mom then. She asked for privacy. Yeah, she's like, I'm Damn. sorry, I didn't want to tell you because you felt. I didn't want everyone looking at me and feeling yeah. sorry for me. Trust me, they, wanted me. they didn't. I yeah. bet you that but it was, the it only was, thing that, was, that made people nice to you. Literally, I was watching it and I was like, oh, I bet the thing is gonna, the thing that's going to like break them up or something yeah. like that is he's going to tell someone and they're going to find out and Guys, She's I gonna never find thought out about that. Mad. I've seen this a hundred times. She, didn't care. she was like, I'm too sick to care. Yeah, she fainted. She already, I mean, she, she fainted yeah. in the next scene. Yeah. In the next scene, she's like, oh. All right, I got, a, I got a, a problematic question to ask you both. Oh, okay. God. You're 18. Yeah. You're in high school. Yeah. You start to fall in love with a guy, girl. Yeah. Okay. And she's passing away. <laughs> I've already thought of I've already thought about this. What? Yes, yes, I will marry her. You would? I would okay. absolutely propose. You would propose Whoa. and marry her? Yeah. In high school. Yeah. What about first year of college? Yeah. Ooh, third year of college? Yeah. Middle Cause, school. Because, okay, here's, <laughs> here's a fucked up thing. You're not really committing. That's true. Well, it's what if she show. survives? Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, that's sick. Wasn't that a Lucy Hale TV show? <laughs> was it? Yeah, it's canceled now. Mm. It was on Freeform, I think. Oh. Really? Yeah, it she was survived. like Lucy Hale... And there was another guy, whoever the guy was, was like a famous guy too, or semi-famous like TV actor. And she had cancer and it was terminal. And she did all these like make-a-wish, lived her last day yeah. as it was. And then, and she then she's didn't cured. Die? And then she, no. And then she like went into remission. But see, how does that become a series when you do all of that in the pilot? Well, it got canceled. So That's it a really didn't, good pilot. Didn't it's a great a good, pilot. Yeah. 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 You got it. Ended fast. So you're you're getting married in yeah. high school, yep. easy, 18, easy. you're doing easy. it. You're proposing, you're doing it in her yeah. church. Yeah. You know that you can't have sex with her yet until you're married. Yep. All right, you're a good person, Becky. Not a chance in Hades. <laughs> I also don't think I would be with someone who was like, I really love Jesus and I want to get married. Like, I would be like, goodbye, I do not want to join He's the cult. very mm-hmm. clear that he doesn't believe yeah. and he thinks she's kind of an idiot for yeah. it. Yeah, but in that end of the day, he goes along with it. You know what I mean? Mm, he's enabling like he, her to be he's religious. Enab- yeah, he's enabling her religious zealotness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're right. it's too much. I'm like, don't do that. I was like, can you just, like, there are other ways you can be in love and not get married? Sure. Sure, but not, you can't have sex with them if you if they they want to wait till marriage. See, then that's why I'd be like, again, yeah, you're going, back to, going back to the church, girl. Going back to the church. I had a promise ring at one point. <gasps> I know. Oh, you were a Jonas? Shit. <laughs> Basically, you're the bonus, Jonas. and <laughs> but like the the I, I want to say literally like the month I I had sex for the first time, I was wearing my promise ring <gasps> and I knocked on the dude's window because we did have sex in his truck. With the promise, and like the thing fell out of my promise ring, and I was like, oh. "Well, <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a big old sign." And then I got super into drugs and started having sex, and then you know the, the rest is history. But Tale as old as time. Those church girls, they do buzz stuff. They fuck around. They fuck around. They know what they're doing. Jamie Sullivan does not. You don't think Jamie Sullivan would have done butt stuff if not Shane was like, get no. under my not blanket. I don't think so. I, I think bought you a beautiful star. missionary sex <laughs> that yeah. lasted a whole summer. four minutes. <laughs> yeah. I think that's that was four the, minutes and it was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most unrealistic part about the movie is yeah. that she wasn't a fucking freak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Because that's what you pastors, daughters, PKs. Yeah. 
are they're they're trying yeah. to fuck immediately. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. My mom was a pastor's daughter. Explains a lot. Anyway, she did die only she two months later. Yeah. Yes, it wasn't that big of a commitment. Yeah. He was still able to go to school. I, I would have loved uh, seeing a scene of him watching her die, which is <gasps> fucked morbid. up, but it would have been, it's Emotional. morbid, but yeah. it's it's, a, it's the emotion that you kind of want out of they it. They were making this for teens, though. Like, I was in sixth oh, grade, 100%. and I, I don't I think like, I was oh. ready, you know? I think... So I felt like this is one of those, and I don't, I don't, I'm trying to think of a movie that we did that was, was, was circling around or like following teenagers, but it was fully for adults. Um, and Euphoria. Like a, maybe, maybe <laughs> Euphoria. I, I was going to say like Edge of 17. Have you mm, seen that? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or like um, Big Time Adolescence. I've, I've oh, yeah, brought this up a, a couple of times. Mm. Where it's just like, it's featuring teens, yeah. but, but it definitely has- adult. Very, very adult themes to it. Yeah. Um, and this felt like that. And that's why I was like, let let us see him watch her die. I'm so yeah. sorry. I know I'm pretty sure it's in the book. If it's not, then that's kind of weird that they would just jump cut to two months mm-hmm. later after she had passed. But I think that I it I think that the movie and the deep romance of it deserved it. Honestly, this movie is what, again, like made me feel like, oh, I could fall in love in high school. A guy will buy oh, yeah. a star for me. A guy will take me and straddle my feet over the state line so that I can be in two places at once. Yeah. Like it really set up these expectations. And, you know, Ryan, my cigarette smoking boyfriend, didn't do any of them. I think we broke up probably another week later. But oh, like no. I really was like, that's what love is. That's what the mm. feeling is, is that like a guy's willing to give up everything and marry you and i'm gonna be honest i don't really like guys that are obsessed with me if you're too into me i'm like Gah. yeah something something yeah. what Something's is that weird. called where like with the second someone starts to like you back you're like i changed my mind uh trauma copy that <laughs> yeah yeah copy yeah, that. yeah yeah you're traumatized uh and then we see like our little end bumper is that he four years later still comes back to town to visit Reverend, yeah. yeah, and that he is a doctor now. He is. Uh, he's in medical residency. school. Oh, he went to yeah. medical school. Yeah, he went to yeah, medical. Got into medical now. school yeah. was four years later, and then he was he just showed like, up looking like a tech bro. Yeah, <laughs> Re- that was kind of weird. Yeah. driving a Ford Explorer. <laughs> yeah, and he was like, I, I, um, wh- which I thought was a nice line. Um, I, I'm sad that she didn't get to see her mi- miracle, or she never got to. Get she her miracle. said he was the miracle, and she saw the comet. Yeah. That was the miracle. Yeah. Then what are you talking about? That's no, well, that's, it's, that's, it's that's the, the line. That's the line. That's the line at the end. It's like, I'm just sad she didn't get a oh, miracle. And he's like, and then, what is stupid? He literally miracle. built her a fucking telescope. What is he talking about? Yeah. yeah. Is that, that's what he was building was a telescope? Wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. So, so okay. that they could see, see the, the yeah. comet. comet. Yeah. Okay. Then he learned to dance with Daryl Hannah. Yeah. Is that who Daryl Hannah is? That's who Daryl Hannah is. The mom. The mom. You hear her name a lot, but then yes. you don't yeah. you know, have a visual oh, unless fuck. you're like 80s movies. What? <laughs> the, scene, the scene that really broke me um, where I was oh. just like, oh, this is good, um, is when he found out that his dad was paying for. Oh. Yeah. I, that he, scene made me go, yeah. Shane West, you are an actor. Yeah, he was, because the whole time. down, you're like, yeah. your lip. The whole time I was like, oh, okay, yeah, he acts, but he's not like, you know, crazy. Mm-hmm. And then that scene happened. I was like, oh, Shane was, he should have been in so much so shit. So many more. I was oh, like, where, yeah. where is he? What's he What's he up to? Like, he kind of. He was in something. He was recently. in some stuff, and then he like kind of show. floated yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Mandy Moore said she was like a little bit in love with him when they filmed that movie. And I think I he it. was a little bit in love with her. I, I mean, I him. think that was like real chemistry. Yeah. yeah. You know, when you see those romance movies where you're like, I don't know. I think they've. Yeah. I definitely think they the, fucked somewhere along the line. Daryl mm-hmm. Hannah gave it to us in one line, the entire thesis of the movie, which at one point, I think nine minutes and 22 seconds in, she screams, you need a father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's all he was missing was yeah. the love yeah. from his dad. Yeah. Which he also kind of got through the reverend, but Jamie's death also brought him and his dad together. They yeah. was It was so complex. Now he's got a, he's got a two papas. He's got a father-in-law and an oh actual father. Oh my God. How was it as a male watching the, these characters? It was great it was great it, yeah. there's there's something about the the softness of men that you don't really see as a child you see growing it in up. a talbot you see it in, the movie yeah you see it in a hallmark adjacent movie yes. yeah yeah yes. yeah i it, it's just it's just nice to see i feel like we're of the first generation to teach our 
kids or our male, our sons or whatever Mm -hmm. to have emotions. And the generation above us or before us was just like, don't, don't have emotions (laughs) at all. How how dare you? So seeing them, yeah, seeing them on television or in film is is always going to be nice and touching. Yeah. Uh, are you ready for some fun Let's facts? Let's get some fun yes. facts. These are very fun. Shane West loved that car. He had the movie so much that he actually bought the car. Right. The price was only five thousand dollars. Really? Yes. What kind of? I gotta see what kind of car it, it was. Uh, our girl Mandy Moore was not the only person considered for the role <gasps> of Jamie Sullivan. If you had to guess, who could have been our girl? Who Britney would you think? Spears. No, she was too busy doing Crossroads. Oh, gotcha. The adult version of this movie. Yeah. Maybe like um, it was a Jennifer Love Hewitt. Would she have been the right age? Are you ready for this? 2002, yeah. One was Anne Hathaway. Oh. Which I could have seen. Okay, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I, I mentioned her. I, I, I hearkened to her name already. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the second, Jessica Simpson. Yeah. Oh. She is a preacher's daughter. Okay, yeah. This yeah. is Jessica Simpson is. Seventh Heaven Girl? No. No, no. That's Jessica, Jessica Biel. Biel. Jessica Biel. Jessica, Jessica Simpson, Simpson is, is the singer. Yeah. Who was married to Nick Lachey. And yes. Is chicken. Yes. Student of the Sea. Student of the Sea. Yeah. 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 Student of the Sea. <laughs> um, the car was a 67 Camaro. Oh, wow. Yeah, which is we also. love shit. Chevys. The Chevy. Um, the movie was shot in North Carolina. Bible Belt. Okay. Many of the sets were from the TV show Dawson's Creek. Particularly huh. the school, the hospital, and Landon's home. Here's a spicy one. Are you ready for Here's this? Here's a spicy Uh-oh. meatball. The movie was originally intended to be a PG-13 movie, which included a naked version of the picture that featured Jamie's head and a model's body. Okay. The copy that is actually shown is the only one that was edited to show her with clothes. All the copies that the characters in the cafeteria have are the naked version. Oh my god! Oh no. I wonder if you go back and watch that. Could you? Uh, could see? you tell? I mean, the Photoshop was pretty bad originally, so yeah. I think it'd be pretty uh, hard to tell. How much y'all think this budget was? Um, two thousand dollars. <laughs> Wait, uh, I mean that stunt was probably pretty big. Yeah, that stunt really upped their budget. And, um, and Manny Moore was like a rising yeah. pop singer at the time, so maybe like a million dollars. Twenty million. 12 million. 12. Damn. Which I feel like is a lot. Yeah. Wow. But Nicholas Sparks, man, you give the man some money. I mean, he does have a lot of money. He was right. like already a pretty prolific. What did it gross? Mm, we don't have that information, Rainy. <laughs> Can it got, it got gross? 2 dollars from me today. <laughs> um, the movie was filmed in only 39 days, which feels like a long time, despite the fact that they only had Mandy Moore for 10 hours a day because she was still a minor. Whoa. Mm. Wow. This was only a second directing job for Adam Shankman. Oh, is he the High School Musical guy? No. Hocus Pocus guy? No, he did um, hair. His name is so familiar. I keep saying hairspray because it's the only one. He said some, some <laughs> oh, Disenchanted. Oh, okay. Um, was it Disney Man? Disenchanted, Hairspray. Um, wait, wait, wait. Is this, I think, Hocus Pocus 2? Hocus Pocus 2 he did? The Wedding yeah. Planner. Oh, my God. The oh, Wedding step up. Planner. Written wow. by mm-hmm. Oh, he did Set It Up? Teacher. Step Up. Oh. I wish. Oh, oh my God. Bit different. Step Up. But wow. so good. Step um, Up to the Streets. Sorry. <laughs> known for her blonde hair before taking on the role of Jamie, Moore was very nervous to die at dark, but after spending the 39 days shoot as a brunette, the This Is Us star never went back to her wow. light roots. I remember so Blonde Mandy. A, yeah. She's a blonde. Yeah. She's a blonde. She was a blonde in the music video. Like wow. uh, Emma Stone. Uh, also a gross $47.5 million. Jesus. Whoa. Great. Ahead. Good Great. for it. Good for it. Um, when, Jamie Land- when Jamie gives Landon her mother's book, she says, don't worry, it's not a Bible. In the novel by Nicholas Sparks, Jamie does give him her mother's Bible, which has her favorite pages underlined. They said, we're not going to go all the way. We're not going like, to make people cringe. Because mm. where's that line from? Love is patient. Love is kind. The Bible. It is never both. Is it? Yeah, it's a bu- it's something people mm. read at weddings. Yeah, maybe not in the Bible, but it's like I've heard not a that verse. So it's many, a so many times. Mm. If it's I don't know, from this sonnet movie, somewhere. Yeah, 
Yeah. No, it is not from. Uh, God, there is I hope no way it is from this. Everybody movie. just quoting a walk to remember at weddings. <laughs> I think it is. Uh, I almost called you Riley, Rainy. That's why <laughs> you drunk Google if that's from the Bible. The love is patient. Love have, is kind. A lot of people do that. In people do it at weddings. Yeah. Um, when Mandy Moore received her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2019, West was in attendance as his former car co-star gave him a special shout out. She said, reflecting back on my time, my first leading role, I can't help but think of my poor sweet co-star Shane explaining the basics of filmmaking to me, like how to hit my mark and when and how to deliver my lines. So he basically taught her everything she knows. That's why she's so good in This Is Us. Wow. Aww. I'd like to think. Is it from the Bible? It is. Okay, from cool. The Bible. Ugh. God, hate Corinthians. A reading from the book of Corinthians. Like, that's what I think people <laughs> start First or with. second. Yeah. yeah. yeah first, first, second, second. third. <laughs> yeah. A uh, plot hole in the scene where Landon tells Jamie, in your dreams, he puts his arm around his ex-girlfriend, Belinda, despite the fact that he had just broken up with her. He's, he's, he's kind of an her asshole, on. Belinda. He is leading her on. A little man's life. Yeah. Mm. Um, well, guys, hate to break it to you because I could talk about this movie forever, <laughs> but this is now sadly the time where we have to decide, is this movie a guilt, a pleasure, or just plain, I forgot to say guilty pleasure, or a guilty pleasure. I'm not Zach. Who fucking cares? <laughs> <laughs> Becky, as our distinguished guest, tell us what it is and why. I think it's a guilt. <gasps> I think- <gasps> <laughs> Damn. I feel like it's a guilt. Wow. That was you think it's, unexpected. That was truly unexpected. I think in general, what I say as a film, it is perfection. No. Wow. I thought, you know, too many montages. There are ah. like six montages there in the movie. Montages. A lot of driving montages. Yeah. yeah. The, the soundtrack is the shit. <gasps> We forgot to even talk about yeah. Switchfoot. Switch, it was so much oh Switchfoot. Okay. Yeah. We, there, um, we did it. It was a great, great soundtrack. Yeah. But... I think you really only watch it to like cry or like have in the background. I yeah. don't think it's a movie that I would like sit down and be like yeah. eating popcorn. Got it. Oh, so yeah. I think a guilt. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, for that same reason, I'd call it a guilty pleasure <laughs> <laughs> because I, I was texting throughout this entire movie and I caught <laughs> all of it. <laughs> I caught every single <laughs> plot point. I didn't have to rewind at all. I was just yeah. like, I looked up for like 10 seconds. I was like, yeah, I get it. Yeah. And then I was like <laughs> listening and listening. I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, no, but seriously, I, um, I, yeah, I, it's definitely a movie you can put in the background. You yeah. do not mm -hmm. have to fully, fully pay attention. Mm. And I don't know if that is because that's why I'm like kind of in the middle. I don't know if that's because we all know this type of movie mm -hmm. because this movie started that type of movie mm -hmm. or it was one of the ones that started this type mm -hmm. of movie mm -hmm. or if it was because it's just a simple film. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I'm not totally sure. I do think that people should watch it and <gasps> not make fun of people who have it in on DVD or something like that. Yep. Or uh -huh. have it framed. You're going to watch or it like again a post ever? No, I wouldn't watch okay. it. <laughs> You're not getting a framed post. Yeah, how did Sequoia feel it. about this one? Because she's a little too young to have it be like an iconic. Yeah, she doesn't She doesn't care. She didn't care. <laughs> cool. She came in, she came in on the, the Switchfoot songs and then left. <laughs> she <laughs> was like, dare you to? No, nope, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. out. Yeah, she, was, she um, came in singing that exact song <laughs> yeah. and then went back into the office. God, Switchfoot was so good. Yeah. Uh, I am going to give it a guilty pleasure for the sheer fact that like I was actually a little nervous to even suggest this movie because <laughs> I it it means so much to me just in terms of like feelings in my soul yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. like puts me right back in middle school with my best friend Gabby and going in the movies and walking home from elementary school together. We were in we were in sixth grade, but we were at an elementary school. It, it was a whole thing in Florida. It's fine. Uh, walking together, talking about boys, like wondering if we were ever going to be in love one day, and would they ever do all the things that they did in this movie? And I gotta say, love does hold up. Yeah. Like love That's does true. fuck the way this movie like kind of yeah. shows it. Yeah. I believe in it. Okay, I'll change my mind. It's guilty pleasure. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I didn't yeah. understand. Maybe yeah. I didn't understand we what guilt meant. Yeah, 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 Maybe yeah. I didn't really understand that. <laughs> How many times did you guessed it on the spot? <laughs> You're a GG. <laughs> well, three speaking times. Of, I'll figure it out next time. Um, Becky, where can all the people find you if they're not already? At BuckSmacks2 everywhere. Yay. Okay. Well, until next week when we're doing another movie that I don't know about because I'm not Zach. Uh, I'm Zach. I'm Corn Duty on all the things. I'm Kelsey Darrow on all the things. I'm Garrick Bernard on all the things. And until next time, dare you to move. <laughs> dare you to move.